Any way you make it, they can bake it. The pesto chicken potato. Caesar salad stowed in a potato. How about shrimp chipotle potato? And whoa, can't say no to the buffalo potato. We can help guide people through their their potato experience. Yeah. Lauren and Brandon have cornered the market at the corner of Hanover and Chestnut Streets in Manchester, where they opened the potato concept, serving up gourmet loaded baked potatoes, mashing together a mix of inventive ingredients. We do a Friendsgiving potato, which is loaded with uh, turkey, stuffing, cranberry sauce. And then we have a a black bean uh, salad on top of arugula inside of a potato, which is amazing. We do like an Irish poutine around St. Patrick's Day. But it's all about the curds. We have the cheese curds. Yeah, we got the good curds over here. You want cheddar and broccoli? This is a family potato operation. Eight-year-old Lily and the teen twins come in the door hungry after school. She wants a chili potato. She's easy. He wants pulled pork and cheese and sour cream, right? They order CYO potatoes, create your own, with help from mom. Last but certainly not least is Lily's potato. Their grandfather joins them in the window of what's sort of a second family dinner table. Mashed potatoes, baked potatoes. Fried potatoes, all the potatoes, right? Yeah. The family is also on the go with potatoes, setting up a potato bar at backyard barbecues, visiting farmers markets and fairs. So we not only bring out baked potatoes, but we do a spiralized potato that's like fried on a stick, which is amazing. Um, it's a lot of fun. The kids love it. It's food, it's fun, it brings us to different places. Uh, that's what we're all about as a family, going, traveling. Hi. Especially for, you know, uh, the twins that are 15 coming of age to be working and things of that nature. So they're able to get to know giving back change and customer interactions and, you know, some of the back of the house stuff, too. And even Lily, our, our littlest, you know, she gets a lot of social interaction um, at the markets in the summertime. The potato concept took root after Lauren and Brandon set up a stand to serve a po taco at the annual taco tour in Manchester. Well, it's ground beef, lettuce, tomato, cheese, and sour cream. And scallions. And scallions, yeah. They were like taco potato skins. Taco potato Essentially. Yeah, 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 yeah. There was a line constantly, like 30 people, 40 people deep. It was amazing. After that, the Pataco became um, a little bit of a signature for us. We didn't have a brick and mortar. We set up our tent, our canopy, and served like we do at the, the Deerfield Fair or wherever else we are out in the field. Um, so it's kind of funny now, full circle, back on Hanover Street, in a brick and mortar, selling potatoes. Great. Now it's family trips to pick up a ton of potatoes, and we mean an actual ton of potatoes. We asked Lauren and Brandon to teach us a spud-tastic recipe. Here we go with the artichoke spinach dip potato. It's garlic, it's cheese, it's fresh vegetables, um, and then we put it into a potato. Okay, two. Yeah. Two. Well, one more glug. Yeah, that's perfect. A couple glugs of olive oil. A couple of glugs. That's how we do it over here. Now and then you kind of uh, mix it around. We're going to finally chop some garlic. Okay, yeah. let's go. Spinach goes in. It, you know, it takes care of itself. Artichoke time. Yeah, just kind of break it up and just kind of put it in there. It become one with the cream cheese. I am becoming one with the cream cheese. Good. Mm, smells good, right? It smells so good. Okay, here comes the mozzarella. This is amazing. We're adding the Parmesan cheese. This adds um, the salt. Finally, we're ready for the potato to hold a pile of our spinach artichoke dip. Bagel chips optional. You're gonna get this delicious spinach, but that's pretty good. Woohoo! That's pretty good. That's so good. Ready? Wow, there's no greater tater. Many 
menu items are gluten-free or vegan and can challenge you to try your own potato concept. And the more frequently they come back, then they start to get more creative with their potato. And they're like, ooh, can I do this or can I do that? There's no limitations to, to what we can put on the potato. We love doing it together. We love doing it with our family. They also provide a sense of community too, I think, in terms of like actually having a place where people can come in and sit down and gather and talk amongst themselves and eat good food, eat good whole food. Mm -hmm.